and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know. Parkland, San Diego, This is Stacy Greenberg. She speaks Hebrew and once climbed 6,500 feet above sea level on Washington's Mount Rainier. This is Akumra Doyle. He has lived in Panama City and visited California. He likes to read and play sports. This is Elise Sweeney. Her favorite author is R.L. Stein. She once lost her luggage in the Canary Islands. And this is Double Trouble. Carmen San Diego's felonious fraternal fakers. Double, double, double. Their last known whereabouts? Cannes, France. In 1946, Cannes began hosting the world famous International Film Festival. Each May, movie insiders from around the world converge in Cannes' Palais des Festivals. Hundreds of new films are screened. The careers of many famous directors have been advanced here, from Francois Truffaut to Lino Wertmüller to Spike Lee. But the flicks stopped flickering today. When Double Trouble boogied along and bagged the festival, they want to turn the Palais into a drive-in movie. Gumshoes, your job is to drub Double Trouble, keel hall Carmen, and answer Khan's anxious question. Oh. Has anybody cinema festival? <laughs> And here's Acme senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Fred Lee! Right? How you doing, Elise? Nice to see you guys. Listen, I just want to remind you guys, if you catch Carmen San Diego today, you're going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that isn't bad. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. And you guys know how to play this already, so let's get started with our very first clue, which is the Acme CrimeNet computer. Take a look. Okay, let's get this thing started. Let's see what we have. Oh, hey, look, it's plumbing. So, well, we can take a... This is just a hunch here, but we can assume that Double Trouble are in the city of the Seven Hills, the center of the ancient empire. Uh, the city's engineers were among the first people in the world to run water through pipes. They invented plumbing. And as a matter of fact, we're still using similar technology today, even right here on our computer. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's turn this thing off. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Rome, Vienna, or Paris? Remember the clues that we heard? Center of an ancient empire, city of the seven hills, and one of the places where plumbing was first used, okay? Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, trying to find Double Trouble and the film festival, okay? Stacy's ready, so is Akumra, and so is Elise. Stacy, what do you think? I say it's Rome. Rome, Akumra, what do you think? I chose Rome. Rome, Elise? I chose Rome. Rome. Everybody said Rome. Everybody's right. That's the way to start it off. That's the way to do it. So, Stacy, you go up to 60, Akumra 60, and Elise 60 crime books. Nice job, guys. For our second clue, we turn to our glorious glancing gumshoe, the private eye. Watch. Greg, I sighted double trouble in an Indian state next to Pakistan, nestled in the Himalaya and Karakoram Mountains. It's one of the world's highest places. I met some pupils in Srinagar, that's the summer capital, who said the twins were camping by the Indus River. Oh, no, great. I think my monitor is on the blink. <laughs> okay, okay. Name the Indian state, if you will, guys. Is it Jammu and Kashmir, Uttar Pradesh, or Punjab? Remember the clues that we heard? Area in India next to Pakistan, nestled in the Himalaya and... Karakoram Mountains, and summer capital is Srinagar. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Stacy's ready, and Nakumra is too, and Elise is too. Oh, you are. I said you were, maybe you weren't. Are you ready? Yeah. My fault. Okay, Stacy, what do you think? I think it's Punjab. Uh, Punjab, what do you think, Akumra? I chose Punjab. Punjab, what do you think, Elise? I chose Uttar Pradesh. Uh, Uttar Pradesh. The answer we're looking for is Jammu and Kashmir. Oh, sorry, guys. That's okay, though. Everybody stays at 60 this way. Stacy, you do. Akumra does, too. And so does Elise. So, 
for our next clue. Wait a minute, that can only mean one of two things. Either this office is finally sinking into quicksand, or it's time for the plastic diver guy. He lives a life of danger, our underwater ranger, the one and only plastic diver guy. What's up, PDG? I saw double trouble in the capital of the southern African nation where they speak Shona. This inland country won independence from England in 1980 when Robert Mugabe was elected prime minister. Since then, they've been changing the names of streets, cities, and parks from English to Shona. Oh no, Greg, it's the ominous music. I knew this would be a bad day. The plastic diver guy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, you guys, uh, if you would please name the city. Is it Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, Luanda, Angola, or Harare, Zimbabwe? Remember the clues that we heard? City in an inland southern African nation, independence from England in 1980, and Robert Mugabe. Okay, they're thinking about it. They're coming up with an answer. Stacy is ready. So is Elise. Kumra is too. <laughs> Stacy, what do you say? I said Harare. Harare. What do you think, Akumra? I chose Harare. Harare. Elise. I also chose Harare. Harare, Zimbabwe is exactly right. Nice job, all three of you. Okay, we have a tight round going here. Stacy has 70, Akumra 70, Elise 70. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, you guys know what that means? <laughs> Definitely you know what that means. It's time for the lightning round, which means all of these... Uh, are about Double Trouble's most recent known whereabouts, which is Zimbabwe. They're all worth five crime bucks. You already have your buzzers. Just listen carefully. Here we go. In this field, critics agree that several of the world's top artists are from Zimbabwe. Am I talking about painting, playing the tuba, or sculpting? Sculpting. Surprise to me, too. Number two. Which of these animals is raised on farms and ranches in Zimbabwe for its meat? Is it tigers, crocodiles, or camels? Akumra. Camels. Sorry, it's not camels. Elise. Um, is it um, crocodiles? It is crocodiles. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Five for you. Uh, number three. Oh, I have to show you something. Okay, take a look at this. Okay, you see this there? Can you see that? Okay, here's the question. Although we found this flower at the local florist, flowers like this grow in Africa. One species grows in Zimbabwe. What is this flower called? Is it called a protea, a seric, or a cuisinberry? Stacy. A seric? Uh, sorry, it's not a seric. Cuisinberry? Elise. It's not a cuisinberry. A kumra. Uh, we have protea. Protea. Yes, it's a protea. <laughs> protea. Protea, yeah. Very good. Okay, so Akumra gives you 75. That means at the end of the lightning round, uh, Stacy, you have 70. Akumra, 75. At least 75. That's the way to do it, guys. For our next clue, we have to... Yes, Chief. It's time. Oh, you ready? You bet. You bet Come I'm on. ready. Yeah, just stay there, buddy. You guys, I gotta go just one second. I gotta score to settle. You ready? Let's rumble. Go! <laughs> Ice! Oh! Uh, pickle hot the queen's right shoulder. Oh, you can't do that on the first move. Already did. Can't do it. Did I call mayonnaise? You can't do that. Already did. Oh. Snipe. <laughs> Listen, every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where when you collected four loots in location. Oh, 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 steel, oh, steel. Oh, boom. When you collected four loots and location, write them down on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Ask Me Crime Net, Rio Box 4300, New York, New York. One zero one six three. You mud tied his jumpy turtle too. Oh no! <laughs> Every day we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here are the winners for today. Oh, uh, you can't do that. Hey, come on, you're out of bounds. No, 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 I'm you're not. out of bounds. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm time out. Time out. Time out. You can't call time out. Congratulations to all the winners. <laughs> oh. Pecan log roll capture. Oh. Rat. Rat. Oh. All right. Well, listen. Nice game. Thanks. Too. You know, you're ahead by one. Yeah, yeah okay. I thought I was behind. No, see, you're ahead. Mm. Same time next week? You bet. All right. What's the matter? You act like you've never seen two people play chess before. What's the matter? You act like you've never seen two people play chess before. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Name the, uh, 
Well, I don't name anything because I got to tell you what we're still looking for. It's Double Trouble and the Film Festival. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Carmen San Diego and Double Trouble. I want you to go to a South American country. Perfect. We'll park our party on the Pacific. I'm afraid not. The country's been landlocked since the 1880s when Chile took over its seacoast. Stash the festival in Lake Poa Po. The lake covers over a thousand square miles. Gee, Carmen, Lake Poa Po doesn't sound like much fun. Besides, we're kind of beat. Now, boys, please don't poo-poo Poa Po because you're pooped from partying. Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Paraguay, Bolivia, or Peru? Remember the clues that we heard. Landlocked South American country lost its seacoast to Chile and Lake Poa Po. Everybody's ready in unison. Very nice. Stacy, what do you think? I said Peru. Peru. Akumra. I said Peru. Peru. Elise. I said Bolivia. Bolivia. The answer we're looking for is Bolivia. Nice job, Elise. Okay, Stacy has 70. Akumra has 75. Elise, 85. Crimebox. Nice job, guys. For our next clue now, we turn to... Well, a group that you probably knew from the 60s. They were the women group of the 60s. Now they are the girl group of the 90s. Please welcome the Akmets. I went to Con Con to get a movie show. But the palette was gone. Hey, where did, where did it go? I tried East Arizona where the roadrunners drive. Among the dinosaur fossils, that's where these big boys fell and rotted. And a sassy culture made this a home way back when. But now this park is named for logs that turned to stone. It can't wait. The act match, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it. Looks a little familiar to me. Okay, guys, name the uh, national park, if you will, please. Is it Yosemite, Rocky Mountain, or Petrified Forest? Remember the clues that we heard. Eastern Arizona, dinosaur fossils, and ruins of an ancient culture, and logs that have turned to stone. Think about it. Come up with an answer. Nice job. Everybody's ready. Say, uh, Stacy, what do you think? I say Petrified Forest. Petrified Forest. Akumra. I chose Petrified Forest. Same thing, Elise. I chose Petrified Forest. Everybody said the same thing, and you're all right again. Nice job. Okay, so Stacey, you're up to 80. Akumra, 85. Elise, 95. Now, we just received word that Double Trouble have left Arizona. So let's pick up the chase. The chase. All of these are worth five crime bucks. Listen carefully. Watch the monitor. Hands on the buzzers. Here we go. Double Trouble made a beeline for New Mexico's largest city. Name it. Uh, Stacy. Albuquerque. Is right. Then they hopped to Harley and zoomed east on I-40 to Amarillo. What state are they in? Elise. Texas. What, Texas, right. Then they raced further east to uh, the capital of Oklahoma. Name it. Stacy. Oklahoma City. Is right. Next, they made tracks across Oklahoma's eastern border into President Clinton's home state. Stacy. Arkansas. Is right. Double Trouble floated the festival to the Gulf of Mexico. What river did they float on? Stacy Mississippi. Is right. Thank you very much. At the end of that round, Stacy has 100. Akumra, 85. At least 100. Your man, guys. <laughs> nice job. That last one was on for me. Okay, now we've uh, reached the final clue of this round, which means you guys have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. So, take a look right over here if you will please here's a portion of the world where we think double trouble is headed now if you think you know a lot about this part of the world you may want to risk a lot if you don't know very much about it though you may not want to risk quite so much so take a look at the map and think about it Okay, looks like everybody's ready for our final clue. We now turn to Acme Family Matters Net. Here's Reginald Bell Johnson. Gumshoes. Double Trouble are in Central Tennessee, hanging at Fisk University. Fisk was founded just after the Civil War to educate freed slaves. But after six years, it ran out of money. So the school's Jubilee Singers went on a fundraising tour. They became really popular. They sang at the White House and toured Europe. They saved Fisk and helped make gospel music popular. Now, you go help make Double Trouble prisoners. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Nashville, 
Knoxville, or Memphis. Remember the clues that we heard? Central Tennessee, home of Fisk University, and the Jubilee Singers. This is the final clue of this round, so lay those answers down in front of you once you're ready. Akuma's ready, so is Elise, so is Stacy. Akuma, we're going to start with you. You have 85 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. It'll put you over 100 if you're right. What'd you say? I said Nashville. Nashville is right. Nice job. Mm -hmm. Takes you up to 105. Elise, you have 100 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. Give you 120 if you're right. What'd you say? I said Nashville. Nice job, Elise. Stacy, you have 100 crime bucks. Before you show me how much you risk, what'd you say? I said Memphis. Memphis. Okay, that's not the right answer, but we'll find out how much you risk, and that will decide the outcome of the game. How much did you risk? I risked 20. 20 crime bucks. That'll take you down to 80. That means Akuma and Alicia going on to the next round. Congratulations. <laughs> Stacy, listen, bud, you have nothing to be ashamed of because you put together a great game. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. You should be very proud of your work here today. Your career as a gumshoe has only begun. And that's why I've assembled this Acme Travel Kit for your next case. Inside you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World magazine, and because an acne agent should always be prepared to search the world and to play basketball, you get this world ball and my congratulations. Be careful, Greg. Chief, I am always careful, please. Okay, guys, listen, it's time for us to go to Nashville. We're going to try to find double trouble and get the loop back. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Okay, listen, I got to still get some stuff that I left in my apartment. Would you get my hat, please? If you get the door, we're going to take a right out there to my apartment, and uh, I just got to pick up a few things. We'll be, we'll be ready in a second. Just take a right out there. There you go. Great balloon. It's even got a VCR. What should we watch during our flight, Chief? Ooh. Oh, how about Attack of the Killer Clowns? Okay, guys, here we are in Nashville. Here are your positions right over this way. I have some very important information from the Chief she wanted me to pass along. So uh, listen very carefully. There are 15 places here in Nashville where you might find Double Trouble, The Warrant, or The Film Festival. Let's look at a few of them. Downtown Nashville, often called Music City, USA. It's a mecca for the country music recording industry. Those heinous hoods might be hiding at the Hermitage. No, it's not the home of a hermit. But it used to be the home of Andrew Jackson, seventh president of the USA. Next, stop by Opryland, a theme park that trades on Nashville's rep as a country music mecca. And if you've got leaving on your mind, don't do it without checking the Grand Ole Opry, the stage that launched a thousand careers, including Patsy Cline, Loretta Lynn, and George Jones. A weekly live Grand Ole Opry radio show has originated here for over 60 years. Now, that's your briefing gum shoes. Now, bust those burgling buddies and walk them after midnight to jail. Thanks, nice, Chief. Okay, guys, just remember, you have to find the loot, the warrant, and the crook in that order in a single turn. If you do that, you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. If you catch Carmen San Diego, you get that trip to anywhere in North America, okay? Elise, you're ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Um, House of Cash. House of Cash. Okay, nothing there, but we're on our way. Akumra. Country Music Hall of Fame. Country Music Hall of Fame. Nope, nothing there. Elise. Fisk University. Fisk University. Nope, sorry. Akumra. Opryland, USA. Opryland, USA. The warrant. Nice job, bud. You got the warrant. You get a free turn. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead. Fisk University. Fisk University. Sure, nice move. Okay, we'll turn these back around. Elise, go ahead. Fort Nashboro. Fort Nashboro. Nope, nothing there. Akumra. The part, part, Parthenon. Very good. Yeah, I have trouble with that one, too. The Parthenon. <laughs> nope, nothing there. Elise. Mini Pearls Museum. Mini Pearls Museum. Nope, nothing there. Akumra? Riverfront Park. How about Riverfront Park? No, oh, sorry. Elise? Twitty City. Twitty City. Double Trouble. Mm, good job. You found Double Trouble. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Be careful. Fisk University. Fisk University. Yeah, they both know how to play this. Turn them back around, please. Akumra, your turn. 
Ryman Auditorium. Ryman Auditorium. No, sorry, Elise. General Jackson Showboat. General Jackson Showboat. No, sorry, Akumra. Sidewalk of the Stars. How about the Sidewalk of the Stars? Nothing. <laughs> Thank you. I was hoping you'd do that sooner. <laughs> Thank you very much. Go ahead. The Hermitage. The Hermitage. <laughs> okay, nothing there. I'll turn it back around. Go ahead, Akumra. Cumberland River. Cumberland River. Filch Film Fest. Nice job. You got the loot. We already found the other two. Can you remember where they are? Your turn. Go ahead. Opryland, USA. Opryland, USA. The warrant. You have the loot. You have the warrant. Still trying to find Double Trouble. Can you remember where they are? Twitty City. Twitty City. Are they still there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, come here. Not a big fan of confetti, huh? There you go, man. Good job. Listen, you, you did what you had to do. Now all you have to do is put them in jail, put them in the chain, and do it. <laughs> Double trouble. Zing, Take a deep breath there. You made it look very easy. We'll talk about your next adventure just a little bit, though. First off, Elise, listen, you were a great detective. You did some great stuff for us today. We have something very special for you. Chief. You've come so far today. Hop on the trail of double trouble until the very end. To reward your detective skills, you get the Acme travel kit and also this convenient automatic camera, small enough to slip into your pocket and fast enough to catch even the quickest thieves in the act. Thanks for your help in catching Double Trouble, and congratulations on a job. Well done. Thanks, Chief. Okay, cool. Now, listen, you only have one more thing to do. That's catch uh, Carmen San Diego. Inside this portfolio, we have a piece of paper and a pen. What we need to do is find out where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get the trip. Here we go. <laughs> been there? Oh, I have. It's fantastic. You're going to love it. And all you have to do is catch Carmen San Diego. But before we do that, we got to find out where she is. You know we always get this phone conversation right, huh? Hello? Yeah, he's right here. For you. That Carmen's a party pooper. We've been in jail for 17 seconds already, and she hasn't even visited yet. Look for her in Africa. What'd they say? Look for her in Africa. Okay, then Akuma, you and I are going to Africa. Chief! Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. The Gambia, Senegal, Mali, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Chad, Central African Republic, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Congo, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Madagascar. Greg, let's go to the map. Feel good. <laughs> You know what this is, right? Yeah. You know what you gotta do. Let me explain it for those who may not know. What you have to do is identify eight countries in 45 seconds. When you are right, you will hear this sound. But if by chance you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, leave the mark of where it is. Come on back and we'll continue. But if you're right eight times in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Akuma. Let's do this thing. You guys cheer them on. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Grab your first marker there. Time is ready. Are you ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to Anatoribo, Madagascar. Madagascar. You got it. Come on, come on. And it's a man of Chad. 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 No, try to get. Try to get. Try to get. Try to get. Hurry. Hurry. No, come on back. Come on back. Leverville, Gabon. 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 Gotta go faster, buddy. Gotta go faster. Gabon. No, try it again. Try it again. Gabon. Come on, guys. Cheer them on. Make some noise. No, come on back. Jakar, Senegal. Senegal. Senegal, you know this one. You know this one. Come on, no, try it again. Try it again. Try it again. No, come on, come on back. Come on back. Come on. Mombasa, Kenya. 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 You gotta hurry, buddy. No, try it again. Try it again. Oh, tough break. Just one in 45 seconds. This is a tough map, though. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you, man, you have nothing to be ashamed of. This is a very tough map, and besides that, you did exactly what we asked you to do. You got the crook. That's not bad. Chief, what do you say? It can be tough to catch Carmen San Diego, but you derailed double trouble, and that deserves special recognition. 
That's why we've all chipped in to buy a portable CD player. Now you can listen to this library of music from around the world and to this CD by Rockapella featuring our theme song. And be sure to listen with pride. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. Absolutely, man. Nice job. You feel all right? Yeah. Listen, man, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do Rockapella. Well, she sneaks around the world from Bia to Carolina. Sticky finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul in South Korea. Baby, I'm going to try all sorts of red. for where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And remember, our motto's clear. It's not subliminal. We'll shut you down if you're a criminal. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, Gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. Please caper.